welcome back to my channel all right y'all so today we need to go back to the lotions because they need to be fixed but anyways before i get started my name is tiana i do all kinds of things on this channel following my micro life journey is the biggest thing but we do other stuff too because i really like diy projects and stuff so that's what we're doing today i don't know what day but someday a while ago like probably a week ago i don't know we made lotions out of vaseline and aquaphor never tried aquaphor but i want to try it out anyways we made them and i was just eyeballing like how to do everything and i'm still really really learning how to do everything but yes we made them but before i go further because i did see it pop up but i just gotta double check But um, yeah, so we made them and I kind of eyeballed everything. And so I did a video, you know, like I said, I would try. I did a video and I showed you what it looked like, like 15 minutes after the fact. So apparently we changed YouTube now. So the app is not the same and I don't know how to see the video. Hold on. Okay, so anyways, <clears throat> I did a video, if you didn't see it already, it's like a quick little short showing you what it looks like after 15 minutes. And it didn't go much further from that, which was way too loose. <laughs> so I've been busy and I've been using the lotions the way they are. Hey dad, how are you? How's your Saturday? I've been using them the way they are and it was not good. Anyways, they were just too loose. They were like a little watery. And so I was kind of torn, like, should I add more emulsifying wax to it to bind everything together? Or does it need more Vaseline slash Aquaphor because it didn't have enough of the oil base in this case or the thing that would make the lotion? So I went with adding more emulsifying wax to start. And I did that. So if you watched the video, I added... Mm, uh, a teaspoon because I don't know what's in that emulsifying wax I added a teaspoon of uh, emulsifying wax to it to see like what difference will make definitely need it more for the combination of the water or the I can't think of the word but like the percentage of the water to the ratio of the water to the Vaseline you need it more emulsifying wax so I went back and added a quarter cup more and it came out so much better. <laughs> so here is my favorite one. The, hold on, I think, do we turn the light off? I think my, the whatever it's called, the Vaseline one. So this is how it looks. And I think adding emulsifying wax made it a little thicker than it normally is for me. But I'm guessing if I say it to myself about a quarter cup of emulsifying wax, that should be good. But here is this one and it's actually thicker than I normally make it, but I think I like that because I used it this morning after shower and it was, it's very, very creamy. So I like that. And then this is the aquaphor. Now the aquaphor is a little bit looser, so maybe the aquaphor itself is just looser. So yeah, I went back and I had to add a quarter more, a quarter more, yes, a quarter cup more to it. Okay, so... What we're going to do right now is go ahead and um, we need to put it in the bottles. So, and let me fix this stand real quick because it's definitely wrong and I've been ignoring it. All right, let's see what you all see. Okay. So, I've been, oh man, I don't even know which one I've been using. I don't, I don't know if, I, I think I've been using a white one. Oh, Lord, but I don't know. I think I've been using a white one. So I'm going to use that for the lotion, for the Vaseline one. And then I'm going to use the black one for the Aquaphor one. So I can, re oops, so I can remember. I did clean these out, so I just got to squirt and make sure the liquid comes out of them. But, uh, but I did, okay. So what I had to do when I redid it, though, I had to re, I don't want this. I had to reheat up some emulsifying wax. Then I had to go back and reheat up 
the lotion itself because once I put the emulsifying wax the moment it hit the lotion that was already cold and already done it got hard it was like a hard layer on top so that wasn't good so I had to go back and reheat the lotion too and let everything melt back together and then re-stir it up and I found that in this case instead of using that blender thing that I always use and I shouldn't have cut this yet but instead of using this um, it was better for me to use this, especially towards the end, to blend it back together after it was reheated. Okay, so I'm going to start with my favorite one. And we're just going to put this in. And yeah, that is the water, sorry, from the, the lotion bottle with some water in it. I saw water somewhere on the screen. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I'm just going to put this in here. Oh my goodness. So this is what it looks like. Super thick, which is nice. At first... I was like, oh, maybe I did too much emulsifying wax this time. But I'm going to see how this works out, even though it's thicker than normal, because, um, I don't know, it felt really creamy this morning. So I'm going to leave that for now. Put that on my skin. And yes. Go ahead and put this in here, and honestly, this hole might be too big, so let's see. Hold on, hold on. It is. Let's see if I can move it to the other side. Probably not. Yeah, this is how, let me tell you something. <laughs> this weekend... For me, I've been calling myself getting work done, trying to get some work done. But, like, everything is against me. Like, everything is just not working out the way I want it to work out. But here we go. I need to switch bags because that bag hole was just, it was too big. Okay? Got beside myself and I cut this big hole like I don't have a little thing to squeeze in. And now I gotta put that leftover of lotion on random parts of me because I don't want it in the box. Alright. So let me try this again. Okay, I'm going to cut a little, little hole. What I was thinking. And bring you all down some. Here we go. This is my favorite part because you get to see the texture of it. Well, if I don't cover it with my hand. Just making a mess. Just, just making a mess. Oh, this hole still acting like it's too. I 
we'll put the leftovers in a bottle, but I just feel like you never know, you know? I'm the only one that uses this lotion, but you just never know. Somebody could be like, oh, can I have some lotion? And then I have to give it to them. And it's the lotion that came off of my hand that I slid into the top. So that's just not right. It's like drinking out the juice jug straight out of it without getting a cup. Wait, babe. Get a napkin real quick. Since I'm set on making a mess. And just gonna finish putting this in here. I'm trying to cut the hole super small, but it doesn't care. trying to fit the most I possibly can in this bottle because I'm telling you if I put it if I take it out and I put it in a different bottle I suddenly become allergic to it and I think well one time okay well one time I tried that I had it clean it was like little travel size bottles that you get from like Walmart and I hadn't like sanitized the bottle or whatever I don't know but yes indeed my skin was not happy with it so now I'm like mm -mm, just use this one bottle maybe I'll sanitize this one better I did go back and sanitize all my little lotion bottles though so. just in case okay I'm gonna close this up and finish it and I'm hoping this will fit or at least a great, great deal of it will fit. And I probably should invest in better, um, something better to put it in here, but, um, since I'm still kind of learning this, I don't want to spend a lot of money buying stuff. Sorry, my hand is in the way. Oh, don't I usually get off the stove because the stove is super loud. Hold on. <laughs> well, that didn't really sound that much quieter, but it was something. All right, almost done, and then I can do the other one. Actually, I think I'm going to stop soon because I said to put the actual thing in, and I don't want it to pop out once it does it. But yes, this is what it looks like. If you want to see it so nice right 
All right. I'm going to leave that little bit to put somewhere else for later. So I'm just going to squeeze that out and put the top in. Double check that there's no stuff, water in it the best that I can. It looks pretty good. So this is what's looking like nice and full. And then should be good. And usually the first squirt is a little watery if I just cleaned it, which I did clean it just to clean it. So I'm actually going to get a napkin and see. I'm going to pump just a little more just to be sure. And, okay, this should be good. <laughs> All right, so this is the Vaseline one. That's too much for me. <laughs> But I really like the way it feels. It's a lot thicker than normal. And let's hurry and do the other one. Which is a little looser, so maybe it'll be a little easier. This one is definitely thicker this time. So I'm guessing that Vaseline is just a little thicker than the Aquaphor because it came out thicker. All right, another little Ziploc bag. Here's the aquifer again. Now this doesn't look like it's gonna fit. It looks like too much, so I don't expect it to all fit in here. I mean, somebody in my family is getting out <laughs> some leftover aquifer. Now this one I haven't felt, I haven't rubbed on me yet. So when some comes out, I'll get to feel what it feels like. Looks like most of it is over here. I'm sorry my arm is in a way. It's like no way for me to not have it in a way. <laughs> almost, almost done. And thankfully, that didn't fill up the whole thing. So I'm going to put a little bit more in there. All right, let me get another bag real quick. See how much I could put it. Mm -hmm. 
keep cutting it before I put the lotion in there. And I think that's not that good. I shouldn't be doing it. Here's the rest of it. I see now why people have those machines that let you kind of go all the way to the bottom. Because if not, you're stuck trying to... Trying <laughs> to um slapping it down the whole time to make sure you fill up the bottle. I wonder how much those machines cost, those little lotion dispenser machines that I see other people use. And I'm just gonna try maybe one or two more because that way I have some space for the little tube. Mm, I think that's really about it. Alright, so not a lot, lot left, but just this little bit. And let's go ahead and put the black top in. I'm trying to wipe off some of the other lotion. <laughs> so that when I'm finished, I can see what it feels like without filling the other one. But okay, um, here's the top for it. Just gotta remember the black one is for aquaphor. And yes, I'm gonna use a little napkin to catch the first two squirts because they're gonna be watery because I cleaned this bottle out too. Just try like one or two more pumps and then it should be good though I feel like all right all right so let's see what this one feels like which I have a little bit of the other lotion on but we could see it anyway <laughs> hey sister Carolyn Oh, that one feels really good though. Feels great. I have to do it on this side. But it feels really good. I like the way it feels. Still a little much for me. But it feels good. So we'll see which one I like better. I'm pretty sure I like the Vaseline one more. But I don't know. Now that I fixed them, I can see a little better. This one was way looser than the other one, so. But yeah, so I'm thinking next time I will try a quarter cup of the, what is it called? 
don't know. Oh, the emulsifying wax. Because that seemed to be like a good measurement for it. But yes, y'all. These are the two lotions. Let me raise you up again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. Mm. There you go. So, yeah. This is what they look like. These are the bottles I used. Oh, I've been using some of this one anyway. So, I was about to say that this made less. But I have been using this anyway. Even though it wasn't the way I wanted. I was using it up until now. Um, and then this is the Aquaphor. So, they both... The mixture that I use, if you watch the video, it makes probably like one and a half of these containers, which is not bad. It lasts me, I don't know how long it lasts me, but maybe, we'll see. Since I did this video, I can time track it and see. I feel like a month or longer, I'm not sure. But yes, y'all, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. And if you didn't already catch the video from last time to see how I made it, look up the short and you can see their consistency at first. And then you can see their consistency today after I change it. But thank you all for joining. Special shout out to Sister Carolyn and my dad for saying hi. And I hope to see you in the next one. And until next time, adios.